Oh, it's going to chuck me on Isamir again. Hmm. Kind of want to play on Hossen. I like Hossen. It's really good for Light Assault because there's so many trees, so many places you can hide. Especially the um the really big ones that branch out heaps near the top. Anyway, um, we're going to play this for a little while. And probably die horribly many, many times. But I couldn't sleep, so I'm just trying to basically wear myself out so I'll eventually fall asleep around the middle of the day or something. Where is the fight? The fight is over there. Cool. We have a spawn there. You know, I can't actually remember what the laser on this thing does. I don't know if it actually works or if it's just like a passive bonus to accuracy or what. It's been that long since I played. <laughs> Good thing I didn't go live, now I get to see you get owned in a semi-dead game. Hell yeah. I don't know, I um... I just started shooters. playing again yesterday go on. for the first time in oh, like yeah, four or five years. And it's, I don't know, it runs well now. I, I used to struggle to run this, it runs really well. The net code is actually good now. Like, I haven't had any lag issues. I used to, like, it used to be really difficult to play Planet Side because a lot of the time, especially in a big fight on a busy uh, instance, I would shoot someone and then like a second or two later they would die or I would die and my bullets wouldn't even register. Whereas now it seems actually pretty good. Remember when it's free to play, do they go to a pay model yet? No, it's still free to play, um, or pay to win, pick your poison, but yeah, no, it's not paid. Okay, I guess my sticky boots aren't working today. So yeah, I was kind of hoping, um, like around, uh, when was it, probably 11, 12, like midnight-ish, I was hoping to get a couple hours of sleep and then wake up relatively early in the morning, like, now basically. That one backfired because literally as soon as I fell asleep I had fucking sleep paralysis and then once I actually got out of the sleep paralysis and woke up I was too fucking rattled to go back to sleep. Good me. So here I am half conscious playing Planet Side 2. On the plus side um Jammer the guy who was really pissing me off in Battle of Stalingrad actually messaged me on discord um, and he explained a few things, like how he was able to kill me in a Stuka three times. And um, a couple other little things, like the fact that my janky rudder is probably the reason my yak keeps spinning so badly. Because um, having a good rudder input is really important for actually holding the aircraft on the edge of a spin at low speed, which makes sense. So um, at some point when we're both online, uh, we're going to hit up aisle two. And um, see what we can figure out there. So that's nice. I'm glad that he has somehow like seen past me raging out like a little fucking shithead and actually offered to help me. So not just a good pilot, but apparently a pretty decent dude. Another one coming in. Use pinky switch for rudder, bruh. The fucking pinky switch is my brakes. And how the fuck am I supposed to use it for rudder? It's a digital input, not analog. On the Warthog. It's a... it's not a fucking analog input. I wish it was, because it would be better for the brakes, but it's not. It's just a normal button. The lever presses the button, that's it. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I want. I keep forgetting I have that thing now, and pulling it out by accident when I mean to heal myself.
Oh. Hang on. What's the difference between the pinky switch and the paddle switch? Because to me, they're the same thing. Like, I don't understand the A10 terminology for the Warthog. I understand that this is what it looks like and this is what it does terminology. Uh, the paddle's on the stick, so which is Pinky? Pinky's on the throttle? What do I use that for? So if I do that, it's gonna fuck with all my other control inputs, and it's just weird. Like, unnaturally weird. I don't think that that's gonna be something I can train myself to do. Thank you for lights and you need to turn the paddle to laser. The pinky switch is just a, like the, the old school three position on the left side, yeah? On the left roll? Because if so, um, that is my yeet switch in the MiG-21. It's my external lights in the Tomcat. I don't think I've got it bound in IL-2 yet. I don't think so. Why am I running around on the ground like a fucking pleb? I have a fucking jetpack. There we go. Oh, he's coming out the other side, the cheeky little shit. Really? Wow. Yeah. But the thing is, I don't know if that's going to have the, like, requisite precision. Like, if the rudder pedal's not good enough, I don't see how that switch is going to be good enough, if you know what I mean. Like, this isn't... It's not, uh, well, it kind of is. It's it's partially an issue that the rudder input's really noisy and janky, but that's mostly because I need to be able to hold it precisely, and I can't do that with it really the way it is. What's under my mouse? There's a piece of hair or something under that. Um, yeah. Like, I need precision because I'm trying to use the rudder to hold the aircraft from going into a spin, right? I'll go drive up there real quick and see if it's Where'd a ghost this is he down here? I gotta say, the 3D, like, positional audio in this is really weird. In that... It sounds like people are right next to me when they're nowhere near me. Oh shit, that's their entire team. I already have rudder though. That's the thing. I have rudder. The problem is just it's not precise enough. So that switch is probably gonna make the problem even worse. Like, it's not a lack of rudder. My rudder works, it's just really janky. Stop shooting! We're on the same side! When you get shot by your own teammates. Watch your stick. Oh god, that was a mistake. The time to kill in this seems a lot faster than I remember it being. The then again. Is unacceptable. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's the lack of lag. I did warn you guys I was gonna die a lot. Alright, let's have everyone fall back to Manny Fortress. I just see an Welcome enemy in here. Fall back to Manny Fortress. Pretty sure I did. No. Wow. God damn. Fortress, here we are. I still haven't played the um 
update for Project Reality. Have they undone all the changes everyone was whinging about? Because I don't think I played with those changes implemented either. But having Facility read what secure. they were, I can Excellent. kind of understand why people were Marty about it. Yeah, Palm, that's not that uncommon though. Like, the Suzat does that as well. It's more robust. It's obviously kind of janky, but it's way more robust. And it simplifies the construction of the optic itself. So you get a cheaper optic yeah, that can take fortress, or, uh, more, you know, can stand up to more abuse at the expense of some precision. Hey, Nax. Draw them into this battle. You missed it, but I was just saying, um, just before I started the stream, I was actually talking to Jamma, so we're gonna go over some stuff in-game at some point when we're both on. He's actually been really helpful, um, God knows why, after the tirade I unleashed yesterday. But yeah, um, and it turns out he was rolling 30% fuel and just the gun pods in the Ishtuka. And as well as that, I should probably also add that after the stream, so obviously after I'd finished venting, I went and looked up the fucking empty weight of that thing, and it's a—it's not much. They're light. They're really light. I did not expect that. So I think it is um, a case of what I said, you know, what I was kind of moving towards, suspecting towards the end of, end of the stream, where I think that it's just... I'm not used to seeing aircraft with minimum fuel load and not carrying, you know, bombs or whatever, particularly for a JU-87, and a pilot with that many hours on it. To know how to handle it. So, I expect them to be an easy target because historically they were, but we're not dealing with historically, we're dealing with players that know what they're doing and have more hours on tight than the actual air. Alright, Pump, catch you later, man. Good hunting. Uh, oh, and by the way, for those of you who are interested in um, getting some practice on the F-14, obviously until my SSD actually gets here, um, I'm still waiting on just the last little bit from that pay, which was supposed to go in, um, to go the next size up so I can put armor and stuff on there as well. Anyway, once it gets here, I can get straight back into it, but uh, for now I can't really Tomcat very well, but... Uh, Zabby and G-Man from 345th are both looking to get more experience on the F-14 as well, so... Uh, I Don't think they're both in my them. Discord, We're just gonna skip I that. think. Um, so if you guys want to, like, link up with them as well, they, they would be pretty to keen to fly. The fuck are we doing? Oh, we're going back to the biolab, I guess. I need some ammo. I guess I'll get it when I get up there. How abysmal is my right, kill-death ratio so far? Pretty fucking abysmal. <laughs> it's to be expected. And we do have I gotta get back into the rhythm of this. Here. I used to, like, I was never very good at planet side, but I used to be pretty good at harassing teams as a light assault. Like, I'd just find a way to sneak in behind them and annoy the shit out of them without if getting spotted. Protecting the sunny would be your I think it's, uh, my main like thing is I've gotta get objective. my patience back. That's what lets you really exploit this thing's infantry, ability. I suggest that you stay inside the point room. Don't worry about the tower. Just stay inside the point room. Defend that. 
Thank you, Roger. This is gonna hurt. I don't have any when grenades. You're finding a Manny by a left. If you're finding a Manny by a left, get out of there. You're not helping the team. Went to the wrong objective. This reading maps is hard. Yeah, light assault's a lot of fun to play because the jetpack gives you a lot of options. Didn't quite make it. Yikes. I kind of hate that the um, fucking NC are blue. Because blue and purple are relatively hard to tell apart at a glance versus, say, red for the TR. So IFF can be a little confusing when things get hectic. One minute thirty, good job guys, spin up. Oh no, he had a friend. Sunday here? Yeah, we do. Oh, we've got a spawn room too. I'm a sneaking C4 through those windows and the taller towers. Jump and fuck up defensive positions. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of fun doing stuff like that. Victory is at hand. Clear out of that area. Can we go up? Oh, no, this is the up. That's friendly. We've acquired Let's the facility. Tower, guys. All right, let's head over to Manny Lake Satellite. Let's go cap that. That'll cut off the bio. Cap. We'll platoon and head over to Manny Lake Satellite. Well, I didn't use a green color for one of the factions. I guess because they'd already decided to use it for uh, squad. IDs or whatever the fuck green is. There is green. Um, it's something team related. The field of view in this thing's turret is so claustrophobic.
Alright, Sunny, set up here, Manny Lake Satellite, get over here. Nice riders. Point secure, start spawn camping them over there at Alpha Waypoint. Don't let them pull armor, don't let them get out of their spawn room. If they can't get out of their spawn room, they can't fight Shield us at the point. Generator critical. Just set up some spot beacons. Enemy transport located. We have an enemy harasser on the north end of Manny Satellite. I have out. a visual on an enemy liberator. South side on Sunny. Destroyed. Yeah, he was like fucking. Yeah, we were fire. I'm on your side. I saw that. That was good. Just saw an enemy medic. Cheeky little shit. It's trying to go around the back Stand way. Let me see. Is at hand. Oh, he's going to hide inside, yeah, I think. I saw that. Real brave. Oh, that's going to be a huge cutoff. Yeah, even if we got galaxies and started heading over there now, we wouldn't probably reach that in time. We're just gonna take a hit, it's okay. I need to adjust my sensitivity slightly. Okay, after we finish up here at Manny Lake Satellite, we're gonna go head down south to Aurora Materials Lab. The facility is ours. Now we're gonna go by labs cut off and isolated. enough. Mm, it's probably a little better. It's not as precise, Generator but it's faster. Repair. And speed is probably more important than precision, to be honest. They 
back campus. I harass the stop sign, guys. Oh, no. It's the armor. Hey, I'm coming with you. Got them in a pocket. Still, you're still on the south side, Steam. Eyes on top of transport here. He's dead. Do not worry about the bio lab, guys. Do not worry about the bio lab. If you want to check up the bio lab, we'll do it in an organized, you know, push. I could just gonna scream in there willy nilly. That's what the NC one. I'd say probably. Oh, hello. Oh, that was him. I'd say the um, the light assault class is probably better on some of the other maps. There's not really much in the way of cover or concealment on Isamir. I don't need you at the bio lab. I need you at the nor on uh, what you call it, fucking um, Amorish either. It's probably at its best on Hossen because there's just so much foliage to hide in, so many trees to climb. But, we are where we are. I have to deal with it. They're inside here, I think. Ooh, yeah they are. Traders that were materials to be the hack. Yeah, if you could hack the vehicle terminal, that'd be awesome. Our foes will have the will of Arkham. What? Okay, well, that was interesting. He just lost no health there whatsoever. I think he's alone. Oh shit, he's not alone. <sighs> okay. Well, we got a Sunday here at least. Just like Mr. Fucking Coin back. Alright, if you're fine at the bio lab, thanks for playing. Oh, hello. Yeah, we've had people sitting at bio lab this whole time. You're on now. Be up here. Now belongs to the viewers. Shit, that was a teammate I just threw that grenade at. Oops. Oopsie daisies. Fuck. <sighs> Didn't jetpack quick enough. Oh shit! Can I 
to get through the window, you please. Ammo into oh, yeah. a vehicle. You can go to ammo tower. The nearest one is over here at Apple Way. If not, you can go to an ammo site, in which case they have like a little bullet icon on them. Same with the tower. Let's head down south to Rhyme Analytics. Or between Rhyme Analytics. Hey, gun. Got a beacon down at analytics for Alpha. Copy that, thank you. Hey, what can I say? They have cool space lasers. My disco guns. I'm glad to see people still play yeah, this. Like, it's certainly not as active, I it's guess, like we have well, I got to account for time zones as well. It's certainly not as active as it was, like, vehicles. five years ago when I last played, but it's still Roger pretty that, active. Yeah, which is good. Like, it's active enough to get some good Visual fights in. Yeah, don't bother them. Looks like they're just driving through. Yeah, it's a sunny combo. When's the World of Tanks Resurgence stream? Um, if you see me doing a World of Tanks Resurgence stream, that's probably when you need to call the mental health crisis team and get them to come take me away. In all honesty, I've tried to get back into World of Tanks. I did really enjoy the game back in the day. I wish I could get back into it, but a lot of my favorite tanks have been kind of power creeped out of, uh, out of relevance or have been fucked up in tree changes. Rest in peace. Sweet, sweet 430. Help, um, I, so I haven't been able to get back in. Like, there's a lot of new maps which I don't know how to play. A lot of the maps which I do know how to play, the puppies still haven't learned the metaphor after like fucking 10 years. People still go valid on Lakeville after 10 fucking years. Like, what the actual fuck? Um, Leave the restricted area immediately. You are in a restricted area. It's fine. It's fine. But yeah, so um, I do wish I could get back into World of Tanks, but every time I try, I play like for maybe an hour or two and I just get frustrated and quit. Like, even if I play with friends now, it's just not the same as it was. I think I'd have to find, like, if some of the, if some of the guys I used to play with came back and started playing regularly, um, given enough time, I might get back into it, but otherwise it's just not really worth the, uh, not worth the time and effort and frustration, which is a shame. Like, this is the thing, World of Tanks has always been a fun game. It's a good game, it's just the player base makes it shit. Because, you know, there's like understandable things, like people who have trouble playing for various reasons. Like, I think I ran into one guy once who, he was, uh, I think he had one arm or something, so he had trouble, like, he couldn't drive and aim at the same time. Which made me think, like, shit, if, if only people designed something to help someone who can't use both hands play World of Tanks. But anyway, yeah, like, I understand people like that having trouble, or people who are just, like, really new to the game or whatever, but what really pissed me off was people who'd been playing the game for, like, five or ten years, but were so aggressively opposed to improving or learning. That was what really killed the game for me, because it, it just gets frustrating to deal with people that don't want to learn. And there are a lot of times where, like, you guys know how badly my temper gets worked up and how quick I am to get pretty marty. Um, but, like, a lot of times where a game went really badly and I'd blow up on someone in chat, 
and it wouldn't be their fault. And after we'd yelled at each other for five or ten minutes, we'd both kind of settle down and be like, actually, you're a really good player, you must just have been having an off day, or, oh, actually, it wasn't your fault, it was this other guy, and I just couldn't tell because, you know, fog of war. Um, so I made quite a few friends through World of Tanks, like, people that I raged out at and was a complete asshole to. Actually, come to think of it, a lot of my best friends in life have been people I was a real Again, shithead to. We rhyme analytics, we're or who were shitheads to, to me. To defend that and then take mm. the but, I don't know if I can get back into it these days. I just don't have the patience anymore. I really wish I could. Which is, not to the same extent, but part of the reason I also don't really play War Thunder anymore. Like, I'm not good at War Thunder, and... In the case of that right, game, the job. mechanics are this a lot more, um, not random, but they're less predictable. So, for instance, the damage mechanics, especially in Arcade, it's not as bad in Sim, um, but, like, the damage mechanics can be really hinky based on which nation you're playing and what ammo you're using and what angle you hit them from, and, like, I'm, I'm sure everyone's seen the, um, video Sorry, of the fucking... <laughs> That's alright, Vanel. Thanks so much for the reset, dude. Glad to see you're thinking of me. Um, I'm, I'm sure there are better things you could be thinking about, but I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. But yeah, like... Um, I'm sure we've all seen, and if you haven't, go look it up. It's, it's on YouTube. It's pretty good. There's a um, video from War Thunder of a fucking tank shell bouncing off the spare track links on the side of a uh, Jagdtiger in like a zigzag, down the side of it and then down into the engine deck. It was the most bullshit thing I've ever seen. And uh, understandably the guy that was hit by that shell quit the game afterwards. Yeah, it looks like we kicked their ass. Yeah, I should have been paying attention, whatever. It's fine, I'll walk. War Thunder is... Well, uh, I will say they've improved uh, the economy, it's not as grindy as it was. Um, I think it was like, probably three or four months ago, they totally overhauled the high tier economy. And uh, it's much better now, so I've actually started, well, obviously not not over the past few months because I haven't been playing, but I was able to get some progress on unlocking the um, T-80 and the T-72. In fact, I think I have my T-80 now. So yeah. It's not as bad as it was. And the the economy was really one of my biggest complaints about War Thunder. It's what made me lose heart and stop playing it so many times. So, at least they've got that going for them. Like, I was really, really critical of, of uh, War Thunder Ground Forces when it came out, and just War Thunder in general, because the flight models are a joke. Um, but I will say, Gaijin actually went a long way to improving the game, and most of the issues I used to have with it have been fixed. So, I'll give them credit, they fixed a lot of the problems. They haven't fixed all the problems, and they certainly created a lot of new ones, but... Um... You know, a lot of the core gameplay issues have been looked at and fixed. Which is nice. I just love how you guessed it perfectly with that alpha marker. I a lot. Fun walking 1.2 kilometers. <laughs> it's fine, bro. I'll just jog it. It's half a BFA run. Hey, if only I um, if only I didn't need my phone for Twitch chat, I could open the stopwatch and we could say um, see if our character would pass a BFA. Two point four kilometer run in eleven eighteen. All right, let's see here. We're gonna go take out the bio lab, but we're gonna do it in an organized manner. Let's have everyone who is infantry form up, form up on platoon waypoint, Sunny. After I did my knee, I think the best I ever did was about fucking 13 minutes something. Pull Max from that sunny there. We're gonna jump oh, over together on that jump pad. And we're just you have like three seconds to get in a vehicle, and then they just decide you're not gonna get in and drive off, I guess. Do not jump yet, jump on my command only. Zerg rush. Zerg rush! Speaking of jumping, um... No, I really miss... I miss fucking, um, San Andreas multiplayer. So, I think I've told this story on stream before, but for those of you who weren't here, um, back in like 2007, 2008, I used to play on this server on San Andreas Multiplayer, oh not San Andreas, but yeah, San Andreas Multiplayer, it was before MTA was out, um, and it was called the Party Server, and it was like a um, Gang Wars type of thing, where you had to control different territories, mostly around San Fierro. 
And I used to play as a SWAT team. So what we do as SWAT, we go down to the airport and fuck up the pilot faction and steal their planes. And they had this server-side mod running where the Shamel, the business jet, had an actual yeah, interior. So you go and stand on the right big part of the wing good. and it would put you inside the plane with like the full interior from the single player mission where you have to hijack one. And there was a fucking parachute spawner in the uh, in the bathroom. And so we'd get like, you know, 10 to 20 guys into a shamble and, and get them to um, take a parachute each. Oh, and we would do full on like Operation Market right, Garden no, shit on the other factions. It was beautiful. I really love doing that. That was a good server, like, San Andreas Multiplayer had probably the worst netcode I've ever seen in my life, but man, it was a fun game. Oof. This is, this is certainly an awkward, uh, map I'm looking at. Yeah, the TR cut off a bunch of our territory while we were dealing with the NC, I'm like, oh, fuck it. There's a lot of weird shit going on with this map. Like, my whole platoon was just focused on the NC, if someone wasn't dealing with the TR, I'd have to get all. Oh, I've got a, um, my NC character's on another server, I can't remember which one, by the way, Gun. I actually think my NC character's on the same server you play on. Or it was... They have so much was it? I can't remember if I made that character before or after Colby really. stopped playing, because me and him used to play together as NC sometimes. Like, he had a Vanu character, which was his secondary, I think, and uh, my yeah, NC was my secondary. Throw me where needed. This there facility now belongs to the VS. Easy clap. 69. Right. The SDU, the generators are repaired. Like, the SDU is already repaired before you can say that. Nice. <laughs> no IL2 today? Um, no, probably not today. I'm a bit tired. Um, might be doing some tomorrow, or maybe later today, my time. Not sure when that works out, your time. Because, you know, time zones and all. Um, so you need another gutter? So, yeah. And next time I stream my L2, uh, I don't know if it'll be, um, PvP or if it'll be, like, me practicing in single player or what. Um, so, this will be like the third time I said this, but that's alright. Um, so Jammer got in touch with me and, uh, explained a few things, including the fact that he was running 30% fuel in the Stuka. And uh, between uh, that and the roughly two kilometer to dive, that was how he actually caught up with me. I checked the empty weight of a Stuka. It is like half the weight I thought it would be. So I've done some learning already. But um, yeah, we're going to go over some stuff in game actually. Um, and he said one of the other issues which probably would explain why the Yak spins out on me so much is my rudder pedals. So there might be a software solution for that because you know otherwise the the noise cancelling works on every axis which i don't want um so we might be able to run like an external app to um to kind of proxy the axis through something else so i can not affect my track ir or failing that i'll just make a new track ir profile for battle of stalingrad oh no he wasn't stream sniping me um someone maybe somebody that was watching i guess actually t told him hey you should check out this guy's vod so, either way, I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will learn a lot there. have plenty of allied vehicles that you can squad spawn into. They'll be in the upper left hand corner of actually potential. I wasn't any for Charlie. At least. I didn't realize how far ahead of me my any squad got. Okay. Oops. Yeah, we had like we had a deployed Sunday and that was it. That was somebody not in the platoon, I think. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing else. If you want, yeah, if you want more spawns, you guys can just roll out sunnies, or at least one of your more experienced squadmates can roll out a sunny. It also didn't occur to me until and after the stream. Well, many uh, things uh, occurred to me after the stream. But, um... Have any upgrades on it. If you, even a base, uh, give me a sunny, if you put it in the right place, is fine. Exactly, yes. Turn the yep. voice down just a touch, because these I mean, guys are really loud. Extra life. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm just making up and doing planetside for the first time, so I don't feel like doing spawn. There we go. Um... Hey, that's a great way to make certs, dude. 
really no better way. Yeah, so one of the uh, other things I didn't realize until like, after the stream was your boy here was rolling a summer camouflage on a winter map. A I don't know how it took me until after the stream to realize that, but that may have had something to do with how easily he spotted me. Maybe. Um, I was also really sloppy with my mixture control too, so I was probably trailing smoke half the time. No, Max, I didn't notice that. I think by the time I should have noticed that, I was already frustrated, so... You've got to bear in mind as well, I was I was um, running on about four hours of sleep total, so I wasn't really with it. Yep. I'm still running on uh, fuck all sleep now, because... I've been up for about 12, 13, 13, 14 hours, something like that. Um, I was going to have a nap a couple hours ago and like wake up now, so I was going to try and sleep for 4 or 5 hours and wake up now. Um, that had the kibosh put on it because I, as soon as I got to sleep, I had like a really bad sleep paralysis nightmare, and I couldn't get back to sleep after I woke up from that, so... Probably going to pass out in like a couple of hours. You know, living my best life here. Okay, they're not gonna come out of that fucking spawn room. Cowards. So yeah, at least my platoons, I don't know how their platoon leads run it. My biggest thing is that you just stay with the platoon, wherever the waypoints are. That's where I want you guys at. That's how all wild wildcard platoons are run. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to be the most awesome player of all time. You don't have to have like a 50 KD. I just want you there. That's all. You can be the absolute worst player of all time. You can be absolute bottom of the leaderboard entirely. But as long as you're on point, you're the you, you can be the best soldier of, of all time. Exactly. Can't shoot for that shield. Get away. I'm I'm aware how spawn shields work, Gun. I know. Yeah, probably. Doesn't matter. Like, I'm with the squad now, the problem is just I didn't notice I'd move, like, I didn't notice I'd redeployed before. Because I'm not paying attention. Because I'm an idiot. Yeah, we got I'm gonna roll in now. If there's still I'll go check it out. Then. Kill to death ratio of one. Yeah, boy. That's not gonna last. <laughs> That'll be 0 0.1 within the next hour, I reckon. Yeah, if you are new to you're currently playing in a wild card outfit. The What's best the outfit. <laughs> oh yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Uh, wild card <laughs> the, the I'm best coming back. On Vanu. I'm coming back after about five years. I'm surprised to see how good the net card is now. People actually die when I shoot them. Yeah, DX left. It did. Yeah. It also like doubled it. I'll get you fixed up. Well, there are a lot of people that have made it so they can't even play anymore, considering that DirectX 11, for a lot of machines, is more demanding. In so general, I'm really seeing a lot. It, it completely destroyed it. My we require the, the facility. He has like an rig. Yeah, he does run winter camo on summer maps. Um, well, I assumed, with, uh, and I with, um, I don't know if this is true, but I assumed that was uh, a form uh, of, what's it called, apostematism or something? Or, yeah, apostematism, I think it is. Like, where something's brightly colored to warn you it's poisonous. Um, but yeah, I usually try and run whatever the map is. A lot of really old builds, even if they were really good builds, from, I mean, that are old, uh, even if, if they were too old. Uh, I do need to work they, on my uh, marksmanship in IL-2 as well. Some of them. <laughs> TOS Max. Eh, not everybody has a few hundred dollars. Yeah, and the fun thing is, a lot of the animals which are brightly colored like that aren't actually poisonous or dangerous at all. They're just mimicking ones which are, because 500 IQ. I haven't been playing long enough to really know. It's also, one of the things I liked about Rise of Flight is the World War One color schemes. Are like so brightly colored, so you can tell who you're fighting based on their paint scheme. I do like that. Although I always thought it was a bit pretentious. The number of people whose personal skins were like all red. 
I had one which had a red tail, but that was as far as I was willing yeah, to go. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think that's I was good enough to red plane, cool. so I just went with a red tail. Originally, that uh, the video card that I had originally in that build was an a, a NVIDIA uh, EVGA GTX 650, one gigabyte of VRAM. I mean, I haven't right, twice since then, but clear comps really quick. All right, guys, let's head over to Echo Valley substation. Let's go cap that. All right, you're good. Remember, if you guys don't see a deployed sun, you're like, where's the spot? Bring one up yourself. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Be the change you want to be. Nearly there. <laughs> Nearly there. Infiltrator hack vehicle terminal here at Alpha Waypoint. That'd be much appreciated. This is the uh, true light infantry stream here. Transported everywhere by black limousines. Okay, so I was so confused. Way and a jetpack. Yeah. yeah, I was so confused. I came back and I saw all of them already had it. Yeah, to be honest, like I heard that. These guys have their shit together. It's nice. That's one thing I actually I um really remember from back in the old days when I played Planet Side is a lot of people on this do actually coordinate as a team. You like to join the wild card outfit, which is platoon is part of. You have to be battle rank forty or above. Eighteen not a dick. If you'd want to join that, not a dick. That's me disqualified. Or any other high level wild card, we probably get you in. Or does apply normally? That works too. True, but that's less personal. Is it battle rank 40 or 18? Or is it both? It's, it's both. But or, there are exceptions. Or, or, except it's a little away. more flexible, but... Yeah, if you're like 16 years old and you're like level 39, we can probably make an exception. Oh, Honestly, no, the, the, the 18 is... All it's happening is going through Rumble, our, uh, our leader. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, the 18 years or older thing, that's just to make sure we don't have, like, little dim hits uh, around yeah, here. That's fully understandable. With Battle Rank 4, it's just because we don't have, like... There was this one, uh, it was when I was playing on my secondary character with Colby, as NC, there was this one squad, um, some American chick was leading it, and we were in that squad for, like, a week, and they were really good. She was a really good squad leader, and everyone in that squad was a really good player. We have an enemy sunny over here, at purple smoke we'll go over at banana building. Now purple green smoke. On it. Any, any well, armor there's armor spawn, and there's a sunny right there. There's there's like five sundies on this point. Imagine being observant. Imagine actually having eyes that work. Yeah, he's running. He's running. One failed. Oh, 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 nice. time to kill. I forgot how quick it is. Can you really call it teamwork if we're camping here, Spawn? Yeah, that's a team Sure, why not? Takes a lot of coordination. Oh shit! Whoa! Except when it gets turned on you. Just got away with that one. There's nothing better to the ears than friendly air. Support. Yeah, no, seriously. That's why I usually. I will say, this was a really beautiful game when it came out. It still actually looks pretty good. It's held up well. I guess because the art is so stylized. 
Like, if they'd shot for 100% photorealism, it probably wouldn't have aged as well as this, but it looks good. It feels so dirty shooting someone when they're literally up the And it's so nice and colourful. I love how colourful Planetside is. Compared to, like, especially when this came out, everything was just a sea of brown. We're gonna have Charlie and Delta squads going out to Stalin's East River Sky Station. We're gonna have Alpha Rob squads go east over to not communications. You got it, boss. So that's basically directly off my front. If you're unaware, everybody, which squad you're in, if you're unaware which squad you're in, look on the bottom left-hand screen. It'll tell you for an Alpha Bravo, Charlie, or Delta squad. And then look on the map and see where your squad should be supposed to be going. Yeah, but Indar at least has a reason to be a sea of brown, and there's still color in it. Like. So like the terrain is very uh, sort of desert-ish, but it's, it still has foliage, it still has green the areas, it has like oasis out. areas. Yeah. And I, then, I, obviously, you know, the, the player characters, the weapons, the vehicles, they're all colourful. Like, even Planetside is least colourful, like, say... You can't even say Isamir is not colourful, because you've got the fucking Northern Lights going on, the Aurora going on. I love the idea, because like, then noobs can ask questions. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you're asking questions that just dicks. Well, yeah, but to be honest, like, to play the devil's advocate, and I've been in the like, an experienced player is like, ASP fucking 100, like, you've been playing this game since it's released, and you've got some dude who's constantly asking questions, and your questions, and your. In your if only Pom was still here, I could meme really well, like, like riff I off their conversation. Like, What's triple A? I was talking about it. He's, he's exactly. This is like the least efficient way of getting up here. Why am I like this? Oh, whatever. We've done it now. I still think that anyone who disparages new players for asking questions is, you know. I was just getting irritated by like, oh, I just want to, I don't want to hear this right now. Like, like, muting the person or something like that. The, not, not being mad at them. That, there's two different things. God, I like, love jetpacks. Yeah, no, I'm always okay answering questions. I've been playing this for, God, long time. Hell, I've only been playing a month and a half or so, and I'm still okay with asking questions. Probably only mo about a month. Still no more than a lot of people, so. I can't really say I've been playing this since closed beta, but I've been playing this since closed beta. I just had like a fucking five year, well, two five year breaks. Or well, like a three year and a five year or something like that. Yeah. It's a long time, put it that way. That's the second time I've caught you on that one, buddy. Uh, squad leads, if you have your defense markers, could you throw down your defense markers on Manny Tower, please? Max suits. Arm is a crutch for bad players. Mobility is the true Chad method. Been in a coma for five years. <laughs> on an enemy vehicle. Oh, so you do. Oh, that's their uh, spawn room. Hmm, we should probably not stand in front of that. Although it doesn't appear to be active at the moment. Are they actually going to defend this? I don't think we've even seen anyone here yet. Except that guy driving past to get to uh, not... Well, East River Sky is completely deserted, so no, uh, no resistance here. Yeah, copy that. Back cap, did Echo Valley after this. 
Yeah, but it's also slow as fuck. I don't know. I've always preferred mobility over oh, fucking true. protection in everything. I mean, you like you can really tell my playstyle if you just look at the oh, kinds yeah, of character like, builds I come out with. Q on everything. Spot everything with Q. That's Fine. very helpful. Who would say no to three points? Identified a Republic mosquito. Okay, if you spot someone to get killed by your teammate, get some bonus recon for that. But yeah, like if you look at the kinds of character builds I play, like look at what I do in Stalker. Ninja Sprint, Siva Suit, and a fucking SVU. Look at how I typically play this, Light Assault, with a lot of ammo. Rewards for a new player are the, the basic training ones. Hardly any directives are that are easy to obtain give you good rewards. I guess kind of really the only big difference is um, with armor. When I'm playing on a public server and I don't have like I don't have uh, friends playing with me, I tend to pack my house on my back. But it's still something I can just drop pack and run if I need to. East River Sky is 20 seconds out. So copy that. Mobility is king. Charlie Delta, after you guys are done over there, you guys can help us here with your Echo Valley. And after we're done with that, we'll have we're gonna go into Waters and... Does anyone want to take over uh, Delta Squad? Because we have someone who is asking if uh, someone is interested in taking over Delta. Preferably a uh, a uh, Alpha member. Is there a wild We've captured the, the facility. If you're new, this is a good idea for a good time to get some extra cert. All you gotta do is just keep your squad together. Honestly, not even that. With the platoon lead uh, there, you, they do most of the work most of the time. Yeah, pretty much. That's why I find it really strange how no one ever wants to take squad lead when I ask people to, considering that most of the time, if you're in a platoon, it's very little work. Alright, where's our next objective uh, for uh, after Easter? Echo Valley. Valley. Yeah, Echo Valley. Alright. One minute, in Echo. Everyone, uh, redeploy if you're not at Echo Valley, get there. A little bit of noticeable lag there. Not too bad, though. Light enemy air mode. Alright, enemy standing on green smoke over at Echo Valley at the end of the banana building. The banana building. I love that term. Fucking infiltrators everywhere. Ah, not quick enough. Debating whether or not to have a mission where there'd be am an ammo bearer with a huge Alice pack or carry all who carried all the spare ammo for a squad of fire team. You know, give it to the TL and you can drop it when contact hits. Seemed a bit too mean to have someone carry 25 extra mags. Yeah, I mean, the thing is though, like, if you're designing missions for 345th, you've also got to factor in that they tend not to drop packs and shit like that. They will do the yeah, opposite. Here, Particularly, <clears throat> certain members will pick up everything they see, let alone uh, drop packs when they take contact, so... There we go, good job. It's another one of those things that 345th really needs to stop doing, but the problem is that because we don't play as much, um, and because people, certain people are like violently opposed to training, leadership aren't. Leadership would be, I, as far as I can tell, perfectly happy for people to pick up some extra um, training. But you know, they don't want to drive people away by making it too mill simmy. And there's a lot of people who associate even like a five minute. Here's how to not be a moron session with. Oh my god, we're gonna train for five hours every second day and do drill in armor like. I mean, we lost, what, two, three? I think it was like three members uh, when Brant put his foot down about the basic, like, this is how you use ace training because they thought it was turning into a Milsim unit. 
and squad leaves are on defense and Marcus and not center station. Staff to lead. Alright, done. Let's have yeah, that's true. The full platoon go into wide distance redemption. Full platoon wide distance redemption. Ah, that's pretty close. Gonna get a ball in tier swan to do a little defensive mission. I mean, I'll take it. Okay, cool. Uh, Charlie, let's go on, go over to East River Sky, go defend that really quick, please. Oh, now they go over to East River Sky. I'm sorry, I mean, if you're in Charlie, go to East River Sky, don't say it. I was confused for a second there. Let's get plenty of sunnies coming out from Echo Valley Sub. Going over to Water Systems Redemption, guys. We've successfully defended the facility. I already got the XP. I was keeping an eye on that gun, don't worry. Bring it over there, that's very helpful. Is this guy taking me to the right place? Probably not. Head over to East River Sky, please. Yeah, he's not taking me where I need to be. Oh shit! Oh shit! 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 That scared the crap out of me. Oh my god, imagine paying attention to what's going on around you. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, okay. Okay. There's quite a few people there. The spawns behind me, I've got to bear that in mind here. Alright, once we start camping, I want spawn camping going on. So I'm gonna have Alpha and Bravo Squad camp the north. And I'm gonna have Charlie and Delta Squad camp the southern spawn room. I don't care about sitting on the points. I keep forgetting not to yell at my microphone, by the way, guys, so sorry about your eardrums. Problem is, like, if I turn down the volume, uh, input, like the line in input in OBS, it still peaks the mic, it just isn't as loud. The issue is the acoustics in this room are fucking terrible, and I have no innate volume control, I just yell all the time, because I have no fucking clue how loud I am. So, uh, apologies for the scuffed audio. Did I just get shot? Or was that full damage? I don't know. Who cares? Alright guys, Max, get free. Max, fucking pressure. Hmm. <laughs> they finally fixed that, uh, that alert. Hostiles Max in the area. Max going A point. Max going A point. Oh, there are plenty of Max going A point. There's no door on that side. I'm not getting through the window either. Cover. Cover. Oops. I've got ammo for you here. Lots of Max is coming out. Get ready for it. Steve Murray is your best friend. More rockets. Again, I need I'm Alpha and Rock Squad to control the northern squadron. Charlie and Delta Squad. Legend has it, Max suits can't look up. From Delta Squad, you are lacking over there. Jesus Christ, this is disgusting. I love it. Oh, no, no, don't go down. Charlie point going down. Yeah, I need Charlie Delta Squad over there. God damn it, okay, whatever. I guess you can't resupply grenades from ammo crates. It's kind of a shame, but understandable. 
I do uh, hate the idea though, and I always have, that grenade spam is a thing that exists. Because in my opinion, there's no such thing as too many grenades, there's only not enough. Historically accurate, by the way. Fucking Winston aim. So many maxes. One minute, put the pressure. How the fuck did I survive that? Cheers, dude. Imminent success is all but assured. Oh, you heard that. <laughs> oh, I snipped. I've got ammo. I just came down. Send me back. Spot. Oh, if only I had a proper grenade. Look at this clusterfuck. Oh, shit. I saw that too late. Hang on, is that where I need to be? Yeah, that's where I need to be. Three, two, one. Fuck yeah! To <laughs> spawn just in time to pick that up. There. Oh wow, infiltrate is still up there. Can't spawn in there yet. Someone took down my sunder. Charlie Squad split off to go take out ISIS at the camp. Alpha, Bravo, Delta Squads head down south to Bridge Ward. Oh yeah, shit. Again, Alpha, Bravo, it's a fucking half hour timer on the max suits. Oof. Holy fuck! Shit happens. What's a drop on those like? Not as much as I thought. They seem to have some drop, but not a lot. Probably better off single firing, to be fair. This thing is so inaccurate. 
Understandably so. You don't want light infantry having too much firepower. Show them. Wait up, Holy Christ, they have a lot of armor here. Does this thing have infinite ammo or what? No, I finally ran out. God, it carries a lot. Oh, don't land on the spawner point. You guys don't want to defend. Keep an eye on that. Dead friendly in here, that's always a great sign. Attack there, they'll be killed easily. I think someone saw me. Yes, they did. I'll get you strong, man. Oh shit! No, 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 no. Their entire fucking team is in there. <laughs> No, 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 come on! Ah! Oh. Shouldn't have used all my rockets! Hang on, where's my spawn? Yeah, okay. Good spawn. Winston aim. Not even actually how short the. Uh, ugh, let's try that again. I'm not actually sure how powerful this thing is. It doesn't seem to have much oomph to it. Like, it's better than nothing, but it's not great. Maybe it's only effective against vehicles. Like, maybe it just doesn't do anything to infantry or maxes. I don't know. That would explain a few things if it is the case. Fucking infiltrator over there somewhere. Which I don't want to deal with. Oh, there's one. Oh no, that's a max. I helped. That seems like a bad thing to step on. My frame rate's tanking. Oh shit, their entire team's down there. It's actually like three people, but you know, entire team, three people, same thing. I can count, right? One, two, a million? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know, I, like, I think they added the uh, grenade launcher thing in after I stopped playing, so I... Like, I don't remember it being in the game, so I haven't really had much experience with it. I'm sure it'll come with time. Now let me spawn any of the stupid Sunders at Bridge Ward. Oh, they're downhill. Oh, that's a max. That is an angry max. That's another max. No, thank you, please. He saw me land there. I don't want to be where he is. Ah, still behind me. 
rocket is purely meant as a light anti-tank weapon? Yeah, alright. Understoodable. I guess that does make sense. See? Fucking infiltrators. I made the trade-off long ago of only having one grenade but carrying more magazines and I'm kind of thinking I might go back the other way because although I do use a lot of rifle ammo I find I need more grenades than I'm carrying at the moment so I don't know. We might revise the uh, grenade count upwards. Uh, can I get a wildcard member for Bravo lead please? Wildcard member for a squad lead. Such a clusterfuck. Welcome to Planet Side 2. Uh, this isn't even like back to warp the worst clusterfuck that I've seen. There were a few objectives back in the old days, like towers especially, which basically turned into the planet side version okay, of 64 player Metro at warp gate, and we're gonna go attack um, north Rush. Lane. Just like a funnel of enemies Again, charging into machine gate. guns and grenades. And we're gonna go together to North Point. Oh, cool. So, lightnings, harassers, sunners, anything, that's good. Yeet. We need everyone here back at uh, Warp Gate now. Hmm. 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 Throw down your defense we'll take the anti-aircraft lightning. Let's head out here in 20 Sick seconds. Sick drift, dude. I would have laughed if I rolled that thing. It would have been hilarious. We're gonna do a quick sweep of their spawns on the outside, and then we're gonna attack it as vehicles. Or sorry, uh, his infantry. If you spawn any vehicles, focus fire, and it'll go down really quick. Not Fight Sounds like it's getting a bit spicy around the corner here. Oh, yes, it is.
down, blow up their vehicles. He's still behind there. Oh, there's a whole shitload of them up there. Mildly annoying that thing, but whatever. Wow, okay. Cloaky boy. There. I don't know about a sunny, but that's where their largest infantry concentration are. There is a distinct lack of aircraft here, unfortunately. This thing is not nearly as effective against ground targets as, say, a Shulka. I can't go uh, full Afghanski mode. Thank you, my dude. Thank you. been a teammate. Oh, not quick enough. That's alright. We'll respawn as infantry. Yeah, here I was thinking we'd need some uh, anti-air cover, and they didn't deploy any aircraft. Typical. Our foes will know the will of the battle. Sneaky little shit, fuck off. Where'd he go? I saw blue. I swear I saw blue. Oh, I see that base. 
Yeah, that's where that ant cat coming from. Redeploy! Pressure. Water since redemption is the best place to do it for us. I mean, we already have a very big lead in the max pressure, so... But I want more kills! We've successfully defended the facility. Alright, so yeah, so full platoon, get over here to Water since redemption. I got a spawn beacon up for you guys, Alpha Squad. Yeah, no, I know the dark light thing is a is a thing. Um, I think I used to use it, but then I moved to this at some point because I just didn't get enough use out of the dark light to justify it. Like, usually because of the way I play, if I was going to come across an infiltrator, it would be me rolling up on him unexpectedly, not the other way around. Speak of the devil. Infiltrator in here somewhere. Yeah, you can stop that. They are capping you back, or we are capping you back? No, we, we have a cap back, but they have an overpop here. Probably just like two people versus just me, but... Alright, let's get Charlie's squad to fall back to Echo Valley. Charlie's That's squad to fall back to Echo Valley. Imminent success is all but assured. Again, Charlie's squad to fall back to Echo Valley. I get your squad lead there. Shit! We've successfully defended the facility. Delta 5, what the fuck? Oop, no, don't fall off, please. Infiltrator. Getting a bit hectic. Just a little. Take the 
this guy is somehow in pass. <sighs> no, you don't. Okay, maybe yes, you do. To max use rockets. Okay. I thought they weren't doing anything to it. Maybe it's just because I wasn't aiming well enough. Imminent success is oh shit. Assured. Yeah, I heard it in, in uh, I heard it in proximity. Proven worthy of Banu's legacy. Proximity. For some reason, I keep going to hit Q like I'm playing fucking a source game. Like it's, I've got quick weapon switch. I don't know why. I don't know why my brain is trying to make me do that. But it ain't working. Oh shit, hello. Okay, that side's clear. Yeah. No, I know. I think there's infiltrators behind. The important thing isn't ratio, the important thing is just being right, in the fucking zone. Deep, but it is nice when I can make it one to one. You know, feels good and all that. Fucking max on D point. Oh shit. There's cap by the southern camp. <laughs> Tried to get the grenade out, wasn't quick enough. Nope. Need hope we'll soon there. Couldn't cancel that quick enough. Well, I, mean, I would have been in a really good spot to get a fucking grenade in there and all. I also just got zero uh, reward for the event, even though we won. Yeah, you don't get anything for that. It's for. For the summer directive, there's a certain thing in there where you get points for killing back. Otherwise, it's just a good healing spree. Identified. Whoops. I keep hitting the wrong fucking button. a mess. I need to get somewhere I can actually see right, what I'm shooting at. Sure I'll get you fixed up. Resistance is useless. If anyone spots any sunnies, yell them out. They still have quite a lot of armor outside, so watch out. We are up, please. Up. Thank you. Point, that's for Sunny. Again, the 
this on you, Oh, of course I'm not loaded. Enemy Good transport job, spotted. Keep pushing him out there. Yeah, don't let that Sunny leave. Good job, you guys. Not just any bad, a terrible, in fact. Charlie Squad to go for two Rhyme Analytics. We secure that. Let's get. Uh, yeah, let's get Alpha Squad to go over to Not Communications. Just take that really quick. And then let's have Bravo and Delta Squad to remain here at Water Center Redemption. Uh, Hostile Galaxy in the area! If you guys feel like you can go into Bridge Ward, Bravo and Delta Squad, go do that. Getting fucking RSI in my hands from pressing Q so much. Eyes on an enemy galaxy. Got an ID on an enemy galaxy. It's turning into a three-way fight. The uh, fucking end save turned up. I think they might be on the way somewhere else, so. Like, they're just passing through. Again, Alpha Squad going to not communications, resecuring that. I'll wait for today to be over. Oof. Charlie Squad going to Rhyme Analytics, resecuring that. And then Bravo Sounds and rough, to defending, my man. Attacking it's only 545 in the morning here, so today is very far from over for me. I oh, I'm probably gonna fall asleep at like noon or something. Because, you know, I'm a fucking functional adult and all that. I tell you what, if they implemented like the arse sliding from Apex in this, combined with the fucking Light Assault's jump jets, it would be filthy. Absolutely filthy in the best way possible. There's an arse ton of them down here. Oh, that was a turret. Yeah, you need a DDS plugin for Photoshop. Point square. What the hell's hitting us? Or whatever program you use, you need a DDS plugin for that. But the thing is, like, if you're trying to figure out why that light isn't coming on, um, it it's might. It might not even be the texture itself, it might be the uh, Lua file, which controls which textures are applied and the different, um, like the different, uh, luminosity maps and specular maps and stuff. Or it might just be some other issue with the game. It's really hard to tell what it is because I don't know which actual thing you're talking about, having not spent any real time in the back seat. And I don't know what's up with it. But, like I said, there's problems with the Mirage at the moment. A lot of the cockpit lights aren't dis uh, displaying properly. And I haven't looked into that yet. I'm not sure if that's a texture issue or if it's the Lua file or what. That, um, are you running that mod that I linked you to? The, um, the VR visibility one? Like, for the labels and stuff? Because that should, I would have thought, include, um, brighter lights for all the, the status lights and warning lights. Alright. I'll keep you posted. Our squad's looking real small right Eyes now. On an enemy lightning. Eyes open, enemy heavy. All the Bravo and Delta Squad pull out of Bridge Ward and Water since go to East Rook Sky Station. I need you guys to try to get that. Oh, okay. Enemy 
Liberator in the area. Yeah, and save turned up now. Uh, Charlotte squad, go over to the rink instead. Defend that. Identified an enemy liberator. Repeat, Charlie squad, head over to the rink and defend that. Have a visual on a hostile reaver. Not sure where that Sunday went. Enemy liberator Probably in the area. nowhere good. Identified a Republic mosquito. Bravo and Delta squads, fall back to Echo Valley sub. Good job, Alpha Squad. Rank is secure. Copy that. Hmm. Holy Jesus! That was unpleasant. Enemy Liberator in the All area! Right, so let's have Bravo and Delta Squads pushing into East River Sky Station. And then we'll have Alpha and Charlie Squads hitting up. Not oh shit! I'm dead as fuck. I'm... yeah. <laughs> that was not gonna end well for me in any way, shape, or form. Oh dear. Okay, so we need to go over to East River. Oh my god, I just tried to look to my left with track IR. Don't even have it on my headset. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, we got them there. I keep doing that too. Let's get Alpha and Bravo squads to head out, or sorry, Alpha and Charlie squads to head out to Visual on Apex hostile vehicle. Genetics, defending that. I've got eyes on an enemy spawn point. They're at the mountain pass too. Yeah, that does drop off a bit. Copy that, yeah. We'll see if we can take out Apex really point. quick and then we'll head out to Mountain Pass. Bravo Delta Squads, how's it going? Enemy spawn point identified. They're Bravo not even Delta defending. Squad status.
spotted an enemy spawn right, point. Copy that. You guys making progress at least? My waypoint's right here, dude. If you're at Apex, your index is right below me. My bouncer. This is gonna probably end very poorly for me. Oh shit! Oh shit. Where did it redeploy me? Oh, right where I need to be. I don't know why it went to a loading screen. Yeah, it's just sitting in the middle of fucking nowhere. It was basically right next to where that Sunday was. That's why I wasn't moving up. Alright, Alpha Enemy Trail Squad. Spotted. Alpha and Charlie Squad head over to Visual Mountain Pass really quick. Thunderer. And that. There's a, uh, what is it? Shield Sunday in the northeastern garage. Yeah, which base? Mountain Pass. ID on an enemy Sunder. Copy that. Oh, yeah, I see them. Hostile lightning tank spotted. Alpha Squad, beacons up. Genetics. Yeet! Let those Sundays go. They had a whole bunch of them moving around here. There is tank mines right inside. Should have checked that. Oops. Oh, oh, oh. Shit. Rise to the oh, moment you can prevail. Apex genetics on the orange smoke. Oh, my thunder. Lost, resources. lost the tank mines. That was a pretty good meme, though. Will you truly allow yourself to lose? Apparently so, my dude. Apparently, we will. Oh my god, Winston Aim. Strikes again. Fucking big time Winston Aim. Oh shit. Again, Bravo Squad, head over to A. Pick the next one. that. I like that name. Of course. Hey, don't talk to her like that. The Terran Republic has taken the facility. Why is it not? Oh, I guess the Sunday ate shit and died, maybe? There's a max in the garage. Where's my squad? There's Someone Waypoint and Charlie at Ice Mountain Pass put down a spawn beacon, please. Alright, we'll just spawn in here and figure out where they've gone. Ah, oh shit, we I guess we're defending this. So this is not gonna be the new one yet, right? We close in on victory. Let's finish up what we're doing, and then I'll consider doing the AA.
You've proven worthy of Vanu's legacy. Okay, I got put in Bravo. Oh man, I'm gonna go all the way over the Apex. Nets. Took the liberal. Oh shit. That's a good run. That was good, yeah. Is that Sunny still there in that southern garage in Mountain Pass? Not for long, though. Okay. Yeah, let's kill that Sunny and then we'll get out of here. That is actually a fair distance to grab a vehicle. screen to, to uh, spot this guy. <laughs> Struggling here. You're not going to get my spotting points. Whatever. Nearly there. Alright, let's have the entire pursuit converge on Ryan Metalix. Let's spend that. Attack that. Where is that from here? If you're not oh. with the platoon, if you're fighting a not research camp, you will be kicked in 30 seconds. Please play with the platoon. Also, defensive markers, squad leads on North Point Station. Again, defensive markers on North Point Station. And yes, I am aware Four of the air anomaly. We will be doing that after we're done capping these things. I know how to make an entrance. Enemy liberator in the area. Oof. This area is restricted. Oh shit. That's their fucking spawn. Mm. Oh. oh god, no. That was not what I wanted to happen. Worst possible time to run out of fuel. I only got the one Sunday up as well. It was great right up until I landed on the roof of their spawn point and realized it was their spawn point. Probably not. Got a hostile engineer here, boy. Focus. Oh, that's great. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Shit. We have 25 minutes, and we don't, we're not committing to it yet. Trust me, we'll get it. Copy, copy. Alright, let me check this. If you have a platoon, commit to an entire anomaly like we're doing here at this base, it just becomes a complete massacre. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Um, yeah, it's probably... Probably the texture file? I'm not sure. The problem is, a lot of the texture files for the warning lights like that are, um... It's just a solid colour, so it's all done through the alpha mapping, and so you need to actually open them one by one and look at the alpha channel to figure out which it is. Which is fucking tedious as hell. That was fucking Tarkov. Oh, that too. Yeah, that one as well. I, I've done that a couple of times. Speak to the devil. I didn't think that would get anything. Closing on victory. Apparently the new anomaly, you're going to go into it and collect Tempest, which you then have to ferry back to like data buoys. Oh, it sounds wrong. like that. Hey, go out. Each different aircraft type can carry like a different amount of Tempest. Like the Galaxy carries a thousand, the Liberator like 500, and then uh, ESFs. This is a sad, sad it's easy implants. It's more fun if you're playing with a group. If you're on your own, it is not sucky. Oh no 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 no! Well, if you're alone, yeah, because all you can do is trickle in and get get destroyed by the group. Exactly. We've acquired the facility. All right, let's get full platoon to go over to Not Am Station really quick. Yeah, full platoon, Not Am Station. Let's go defend that. You should be able to direct deploy there, if not, throw down a spawn beacon when you get there. For the rest of your squad mates. They also said they're gonna fix the bugged mines, the bugged tank mines in C4. They goddamn better. Yeah, that's kinda, that's getting annoying. No, the it's VOD for that's stuff. not still up, um, but it's on YouTube. Yeah, like, all my, all my all my past there. streams Stay are on right. YouTube. Pretty much. And there's a couple that aren't public, oh, which were just, like, shit show like, streams like, that I couldn't like, be bothered like, making public, because there was nothing worth watching yeah. on them. The only way it tells is if you have a supermodel. Oh, that's interesting. Which, really, you should... Yeeti boy. Yeah. I think this building's new. I don't remember there being horizontal oh, yeet boys know. before. Okay, we're defending. Victory has not eluded us. Fight hard. It's a little spicy up there. What the fuck was that? Oh, that was a mistake. Many regrets. I think we might lose this point. 
Apparently they had a router on eight point there. Alright, that's not where I wanted to go. Alright, after we finish up this, we're gonna do the arrow anomaly. Oh, yikes. Gear only got like 1400, that's like nothing. Enemy light assault in the area! Hey, got the Sunday. Yoot. Shield generator critical. More vehicles around here, I think. Help him out. This might turn into a longer fight than we signed up for. Have almost 300 certs to spend. That's good for now. Should I either unlock it or new stuff around? Yeah, I will in a minute. Oh, why is it? Never done this. Basically, it's this giant ball in the sky that we have to go touch with aircraft. All the aircraft will be free. It's just a giant air battle. Oh boy. This so is gonna be a mess. So we I can't fly in this worth so shit. No exactly. So, if you're not good at flying aircraft, now is your time. All the aircraft will be free, so you can try out whatever loadout you want to... If you still don't want to fly, there's going to be plenty of things like Liberators and Galaxies that need gunners that you can get into. So if you are going to be pull If you are going to be pulling a Galaxy, I would recommend that you pull a Repair Galaxy. If you have a lot of those next to each other, then they just kind of like perpetually repair each other and it's hard to take them. I'd probably rather gun in something, uh, but whatever. Happen. We'll roll with this. I logged on and I'm stuck in a fucking queue. And I don't want to be a lift piloting a lift for the air. No, I'm like, I'm like, God damn it. Rip, sorry. Oh, I'd have to unlock that stuff. It's all good. It's not your fault. If, One if you have your aircraft and you're all suited up, just hover above the warp gate area. And we'll head out in 30 seconds. Yeah, that should do. Do not head out on your own. You will be fucked up on your own. We will do this as a group. God, this Dude, is a group, so it's a lot easier to, to win. The controls in this are fucking Even if bizarre. You're the shittiest pilot. If you go out as a group, it really helps. Oh my god. Oh, it's not inverted. Oh. Oh god. Oh, 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 oh god. Help me, please. Okay. Oh, there really should probably be about two, maybe three gunners in a galaxy. Yeah, in your galaxy, you get up no more out. than five. In your galaxy, you should have no more than five people. That covers all of the gunners in the piloting position. Controls. Alright, all aircraft, head out to the shooting waypoint. That is the anomaly. Let's go uh, now. Go now, go now. Uh, if you die, pull another aircraft or spawn into someone's aircraft. Immediately get right back into the fight. The way you win this is you have a constant flux of aircraft entering and you always keep up the pressure. There we Never go. Never let up the pressure. Any uh, galaxies who are in the front try to stay back and stay with the group. We need all the galaxies this and liberators still and such need to stay together. Fuck. Sides aren't as big a deal, but um, all the other aircraft need to stick to a group so we get to the, get there at the same time. Exactly. I can... yeah, once we get to the anomaly, all the aircraft, or at least all the galaxies, ah. bunch up together and just kind of just huddle in a group. You don't need to fly around, you don't need to be crashing into friendly aircraft, just huddle in. Actually, I probably don't want that for the mouse. Getting and don't touch the glory hole. Oh god, and yeah, I don't have my fucking glory shit glory bound on the- oh fuck. This is- this is terrible. This is so bad. I, I actually, I wonder if this did recognize my warthog. That would be a pretty good meme. I should probably be in the bubble, not here. I'm gonna die. Yeah. All right. Well, that gives me time to change my controls again. Watch our score shoot up immediately. Not that. Aircraft in the air. Uh, flight vehicle sensitivity. We'll turn that up to about point. Five-ish. 
Findings. Uh, oh. Nice. See, I wish that the mouse left and right was, um, was your instead of roll, but I don't think there's a way to rebind that, so I'm just going to have to roll with it, sadly. If you're a small aircraft like a scythe, then you need repairs, just come to the center, we got you covered. One moment. Too bad I'm pretty certain it won't recognize Tracker. Because that would be fucking hilarious if it did. Let's go all fucking DCS up in this bitch. Alright. We're gonna try hard this shit. I'm not sure if it's set up for this though. Nope. Oh. Hear me knocking shit over as I try and get my setup sorted. And. Here, so I can keep reading right, chat. Moving. Yeah, no track. Uh, no, I didn't expect that. To be. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. What the fuck do I? All right, we're at 15k, 1500. TR is at 2k, and we just did that in like two minutes. Uh, enable joystick. Joystick. Aircraft. Fine. It doesn't recognize the axis. Fuck my life, okay. Oops. Your left. Hello? Hello? No, that don't work. I don't think it recognizes the Warthog. Enemy galaxy coming in from the south, he's dead. I got you covered. It's already, like... My stick's been plugged in, so it should recognize it. I don't know why it's there we not. Go. Hang on, I'm going to have to move all this shit back out of the way. Yeah, it's... I thought it would be... Well, I was hoping it would be set up, but it's not. It doesn't automatically recognize the Warthog. It probably would recognize the X-52. In fact, I seem to recall last time I flew in Planet Side, I'd used the uh, X-52 for it. Like, back when it still actually worked. See my scuffed headphones falling off because they're broken and don't sit on my head properly. Two lips coming in south. What the fuck is this mess? It looks like something out of EVE Online. Like, no shit. It looks like a fucking bubble. Dicta bubble. Oh no! Oops. Okay, so the debris does actually damage you. Good to know. Good to know. Also, I keep forgetting I have missiles in the scythe. Those would probably be a, a pro thing to use. Stay in the bubble? Yeah, I... Mm. They're dropping C4 on How us. How do I... Missiles. Yeah, Aha! Just stick close to the group so you get the repairs. Where the fuck did the bubble go? Oh, there it is. See, I wish I could set this up so that A and D were roll. Um, Next anomaly is up northwest. And then use the mouse for pitch and yaw, like Did in War Thunder. That's how my War Thunder controls are set for the keyboard. But yeah, no, it doesn't work. Also, I yeah, totally I forget how to lock gal. the missiles on shit in this. Someone would 
wanting to get some points for that, they can bring an ammo gal. They move choke points. Enemy Liberator in the area. Trying to remember the flight dynamics of this thing. I think from memory it actually behaves kind of like a banshee from Halo. So if I hold space I can just kind of hover on the spot with a slight upwards motion. I think, I don't remember. I can't even see what the fuck is going on right now, to be fair. This is just a mess. The lock range on these missiles is Probably fucking abysmal. Boom, he did. Denied. Denied! Liberator North. East now. How do people fly so easily in this? Jesus. I guess they've got their joysticks plugged in. Nice. I know I should be in the bubble. I know, I just want to kill this guy. Oh god! That did not go as planned. We'll just, uh, oh, oh god. This whole... Yeah. I'm gonna rebind my, uh, controls here in a minute. On an enemy galaxy. Hostile galaxy in area. Okay. Aircraft. Fire. Oh shit, of course. Uh should I make fun? No, okay, so that is. Hmm. Next anomaly is up to the south. Hmm. Hmm. Do we have somebody grabbing a uh, ammo galaxy? Maybe uh, if I make. I don't think anyone did. Now ascend. I'll we'll make yeah, that alt. Oh my god, here. Yeah, I would, but I'm Because I'm not going to need to toggle mouse control. Then we'll make that. Yeah, we got lock on some repair galaxies, but we do need an ammo galaxy. I'm good with mouse and keyboard in War Thunder, but that's because, like I said, the setup's different. The setup in this is fucked. And I can't change it, which is the problem. That's the issue. I'll get it. There yeah, that guy's gonna get points. The roll rate on this thing is abysmal. The turn rate is wild, but the roll rate is so bad, and it has this weird acceleration on it where the faster you're moving, the faster you roll. Which is very bizarre. What have I got who failed out? Because I've had a half of Honestly, the mouse is probably better. I'm mostly. Bringing one, I'm bringing one. I know, I heard. It's just like Bravo kind of sad time. timing. No, no gun to shoot, time for parachute. <laughs>
Servus. I am very bad at this. I am very, very bad at this. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm just gonna spawn in a galaxy and gun, I think. I'm fucking right, hopeless at flying. Hopefully this is one- yeah, okay, we're good. Watch out, Trump USA in the uh, front, to the south, we to the south. Lock on phasers. That's useless as a fucking air to air weapon. Here we go, now I got a real gun. With a really bad fucking field of view. Enemy Sunderer in the area! I think we might win. Just by the skin of our teeth, yes. Yeah, I know I'm a battle gun. Still. Can't see very well. Take three thousand points. Oh, my bad. Give or take five thousand points. Is there? That's a waste gun. Just stay vigilant because they can come. Is there a dorsal gun that isn't that fucking rocket turret thing? If, if they did, I'd be. I, I, would, I wouldn't even be mad. They keep like everybody on their team. They would have to get a and then they might turn. have a chance. He guarded it for them against us. Yeah, like team effort. Well, let's be honest, when it comes to fucking over Vanu, NC and TR have been known to team up. That is true. I think we are probably the most hated faction. It's because we're the most tactical and skilled faction. I like how he said probably. These things sound like demented whales. It's pretty cool. Everyone hates everyone. I don't know, when I was like... I played yeah, NC when this game first came out. A mosquito. We hated the Vanu a lot. I still think that, I mean, of all the times I went, uh, play, I haven't been playing for a long time, but... I'll all the uh, comments I play, because of the wild cards specifically, um, Vani ends up winning more consistently than the other factions. Yeah, what do you mean the wild cards? As in the outcomes. Oh. You know, like Charlie together, actually, uh, you know, do platoon warfare against them, so. Continent benefits secure. That's when the game is fun when you get, you know, two platoons competing against each other rather than just like two serves going at it. Yep. Yeah. Alright, good job, guys. GG. Right, we're gonna go Easy. To we'll go sub, but we're gonna go take that. Sounds fun.
Nearly there. <laughs> Bro, you stole my tank kill. Everyone's always had a fucking hate burner for the banner though. Like even like even when I started playing, I remember people bitching about banner endlessly. Had his shields, but then he got in cover. You know what? Clear out of that area. This area is restricted. Fuck off, I'm doing Leave it. the restricted area immediately. Oh, can we go up? This area is restricted. Can we? No, we Clear can't go up. out of that area. Motherfucker. This area is restricted. Leave the restricted area immediately. There we go. This area is restricted. Jesus. I get it. Ah, a burning galaxy just landed on me. He didn't know, chat. He probably does now, though. Success is all but assured. All right, after we finish up here, we're going to be moving on to Eastern River Sky Station. And NCR fighting in right now. Maybe we should to be fair, Gun, I remember when I first started playing, I was bitching endlessly about the fucking NC weapons because they seemed to be able to do so much more damage to me. While we, uh, like, while I would always thing. lose a one on one fight with them. Okay, to be fair, it was probably because of bad aim and net code in hindsight, but, like, all the factions are gonna bitch about each other. They always will, they always have. I kinda wanna get some kills. Or shoot something. I don't know. I don't really like. Let's take out to be fair, I'm using a fairly basic bitch weapon. 
considering but the water from my perspective I'm not noticing a whole lot of difference water, be nice to have. if I come across you know, another light assault it's basically whoever sees the other guy first and aims better wins like there's no real difference it's very very dependent on who sees the other guy we first by getting used to her. Well, I mean, that probably comes down to personal preference, to be honest. I prefer the high rate of fire, so I'm gonna like the Vanu weapons, whereas some other people might prefer the Alpha. But I like my bullet hoses. Where are we going? 792 meters? Yikes. Imagine getting stuck on a staircase. Oh, no, no! Wait for me! God damn it. Uh, it's only like 600 meters, whatever. I can uh, walk it. We infantry boys! We walking. You gonna let me in? No, you're not. Of course. Fucking one man Sunday. Probably should actually spend some of these certs. I don't know what I'm though. I might do that later, like rather than do it right now. I forget. Does is there a cap on accumulated certs? I can't remember. It's been way too long. No, okay. Yeah, I'll do it later then. There's no reason to do it right now. I'd rather just focus on fighting at the moment than trying to futz about looking at what I want to upgrade. 10k for non-members? Okay, well 10k is fucking heaps. I'm probably not going to get 10k anytime soon. So I've been away from the game for about five years. Um, I started playing back in closed beta and played like, I don't know, for a year or two solid. Took a break, came back, took a very long break, now I'm coming back again. Bruh. You nearly took my head off with that thing. Ammunition is being dispensed. Where are they coming from? Oh, hello. Oh yeah, spawn room. That's probably where they're coming from. Hmm. I am smorked. I just saw it. I uh, got on the map. Identified. Let me heal Yeah. Ammunition down there. Oop. I'll put some oh, smoke one on. actually came out, and then I got fucking sniped at. Green smoke. Naturally. I don't think a single one of those hit. Oh, I don't have any grenades. That nearly went very poorly. We've captured the facility. 
Alright, so there's a base down here, a vehicle base, over at the Chicago Bridge, we'll blow that up. Enemy line assault in the area! If you're at the spawn room, you can use the teleporter and you'll go right to the vehicle room down below. We have a couple of Vulcan harassers going around, so watch out. Jamma, thanks for the follow. I'm a bit too sleepy for IL2 at the moment, so we're doing this. Oh, oh, hello. There we go. Yeah, fuck that guy. All right, I'll check uh, afterwards. All right, anyway, you going down to the two waypoint, guys? Um, if I can keep myself awake, I will. What is even going on here? I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. What is this place? Some sort of fog or something? Wait, they built this? Like, this wasn't a map object? Damn, that's pretty cool. Where is West? There it is. Oh, I can't see. Come on. Bye bye, base. That was a really impressive explosion for a section of wall. Unlock C4. Let's see if we can cut C4, a light assault thing, or is that an engineer thing? I, I think I remember using C4 at some point, but I can't remember what I was doing with it. Enemy light assault? Spotted. Hmm. Spotted is that um? Is that in the grenade launcher slot, or is that in the like the th the thrown grenade slot? Because that might be why I don't have it anymore. Because I remember I did switch something out to give me more hand grenades at some point. Utility slot? Oh, okay. Well, I'll see what I got in there at the moment. Yeah, north end, we got a bunch of harassers. Might lose your med injector? Oh yeah, that, that kind of... I kind of need that. Like, you've seen how I play. I need that. I'm a reckless aggression. Can I crouch? Oh, okay, apparently not. Well then.
Yeah, okay. Well, that would explain why I stopped using it. Oh, excuse me. Oh, yikes. I gotta say, the audio in this is really weird. Like, the way the sound includes and the volume is really weird. Really, really weird. It makes it hard to tell where things are using audio. And because my vision is so terrible, and I tend not to see things, I kind of rely on hearing them to figure out where they are, so... Not the best arrangement for me. Oh, of course, that's empty, isn't it? Oh yeah, I'm sure you can do some wild shit with C4, it's just that I need to be able to survive long enough to do stuff with it, and knowing how I play, like that, um, I'm not going to get anywhere useful with it before I get killed. Oh yeah, Echo Valley is overpuffed like a motherfucker. Yeah, just watch the, watch the gal just plop down over there. Alright, let's head over to Echo Valley. Oh, 15 minutes, man. What they the fuck? Maintenance. Why are they doing maintenance right now? You're right? <laughs> fuck it, okay, full platoon, go to Echo Valley. Let's go, let's go. Echo Valley. Oh boy, maintenance. Maybe they want to fix the things. Oh, he saw me. I'd say it's time for shenanigans if the server's coming down in 15 minutes. Like the way that guy thinks. Nothing but water we balloons and soakers. Oh, we the here. They think they're being sneaky. Big one, a hostile engineer. Stupid. Why are you doing maintenance right now? Do it at fucking 3 a.m. Hey, 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 Mano is with you. Do not falter. Okay. I dare to get you. Like, what the hell? Better be. I can repair. Better be quick is what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 We got There's two. not really any place to go do shenanigans. I was looking for if there was. I mean, I suppose we could do races or something. I don't know. There's not really any place uh, to go and drop over in their territory that has decent pop. Farming easy points. Oh, there we go. I guess he got tired of getting shot at. Oh shit, they saw me. What? Turn around? That's retarded, dude. Bit late. That's actually retarded. Why would they do it in the middle of the day? For, like, on a Friday? The hell? Well, I mean, I'm sure it's on a Friday or school. Why not? Why would that? They're doing it like right when prime time is. This is right when things are still. Yeah, like, you know, everybody's about to go and get home and start playing. Oh, let's shut down for three hours and do maintenance. That'll make everybody happy. Apparently, it's. Uh, oh. Senpai noticed me. The enemy has taken um, the facility. Let me, let me see what the implements are gonna be. Beacon could have broken it. Oh, I didn't notice. 
The bug fix something, something situational awareness. Quickly despawn when detonated, and we've made additional changes that should be clean up. That should clean up NPCs more quickly and efficiently. Maximum pressure continent event now correctly grants rewards to all participants. That's gonna be good. Thank, thank you. Yeah, but I can I can wait till a weekday for that. Yeah, exactly. This is this is prime time for like 80 percent of people. Especially on Connery, which is a West Coast server, if I'm not mistaken. Enemy spawn point Here's identified! I mean, what do I expect us to do before that? What else is there to do? That was their entire team! That's his life. Test server, but I don't even have that downloaded. <laughs> That is pretty magical that they're gonna do maintenance at this time, though. Like, me on, what the fuck? Uh, on the, you know, wild cards Discord and play some Warframe. I'm up for it. You guys, what are you trying in this place? Or am I just the only one trying for the base? Roll the stage. Yeah, the the, the news. I'm just kind of like. We're just trickling because it's going down in 10 minutes. It doesn't make any difference what we do now since I, I, I'm wondering if SMU is even going to be so off by the time the server's back up or if, uh, if they're going to pause it and everything's going to be exactly the same as when we left or if it's going to be a completely new continent. Oh shit! Yeah, I'll restart the Ow. server so it'll be do everything. So all that progress for nothing. I'll get you picked up. Yeah, I don't get SMU very often anymore. I mean, technically, it's just as often as every other uh, of every other continent because it goes in rotation. But I feel like I like every time I play, it's like, oh, that was a mistake. I'm gonna stay there for five, six but hours. Every time I log in, it feels like Hassan is the first one from when I log in. But I tend to stay for like two or three continents. So yeah, I like never get to Endar anymore, you know. And then Esmir is like second yeah, to Endar was the last one. Game. We won, uh, won the last one in Endar. It was a pretty big one. We were, we had 60% of the of the uh, areas right, last. Um, it was a pretty big, pretty nice win. Yeah. Endar is still far above the continent, followed by Esmir. Enemy transport. Yeah, in for me, it's Endar, Esmir, Amrish, awesome. Yeah, yeah. that's that was from my order too. That's a bad time to have to reload. Well, have all your fun you can for 10 minutes. Very bad time to have to reload. It has been fun. The real treasure was the friends we made along the way. This actually has gone pretty well. Pretty well. Sucks the most is that I got I, I got 13 hours left on two experience boosters and that's just gonna waste three hours of that. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like you should assume that they're gonna do maintenance on a Friday night at prime time. Oh come on! That bounce. That bounce. Like I'm legitimately curious what their reason is. Like, are these updates that important? That we need them like before we get you know hammering into the week. Fixes with uh, tank mines and C4 and the max pressure con uh, event are actually going to be pretty nice, but I don't think they're important enough to uh, do it if at on prime time on Friday night. Yeah, it just seems like they do it early Saturday morning, like after prime time ends on Friday night. Yeah, or you know, yesterday. Pretty much just trying to farm kills at this point. 
Should be restarting in a couple minutes. Well, I'm gonna get off now then, guys, if that's okay. Um, Just buy in the platoon before you do. Yeah. It's been good, guys. Y'all fought really well. Good game. Oh, Sunderer dead. Hmm. Does it say somewhere how long there is? It's probably like two or three minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it there. I'm going to see who else is on. Let's see. Oh wow, there's shitloads of people on. Um, hmm. I think I might send you guys over to. Over to Sharko, I think. Who is doing some PvP by the looks of it in the Hornet? Thank you very much for watching. Um, I was kind of hoping to go for a little bit longer, but obviously um, the, the devs have had other ideas. But that was good fun. So I will probably be streaming a lot more Planet Side uh, in the coming weeks. Alright guys, catch you next time.